Dear colleagues, this is a hypermature Morgagnian cataract. I have taken up this case for surgery. Let us watch the steps. This is the main incision. It's a 2.8 millimeter incision. Now, this is a side port on the left side of the main incision. In this case, I have made only one side port about 3 clock hours away from the main incision. Now, this is an air bubble. I want to stain the anterior capsule with tripen blue dye underneath this air bubble and here is the dye. And now after 5-6 seconds the dye is washed out with a 23 gauze Simcoe cannula. Viscoelastic substance being used in this case is HPMC that is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now going to do capsulorexis. A capsular tag has been raised. The cortex has degenerated and it has turned into a milky fluid here at around 3 o'clock. You can see that the milky fluid is coming out. And now Rexis is done. I expected a hard nucleus in this case, so I have done a little larger rexis. It's not very large, it's adequate sized rexis. Hydro dissection is not required since the cortex has degenerated into a milky fluid. You can see the hard brown cataract. And now I am going to do what I call submarine chop. Go into the substance of the nucleus, go through the nucleus, move through the nucleus like a submarine and cross the central, central part, go towards the opposite equator and then chop and go to a deeper plane with the chopper and divide the nucleus into two parts. I have rotated it 180 degree and I have been able to separate this hard nucleus into two halves. And now each heavy nucleus is being chopped into two fragments. The antechamber is very stable but little bit of iris prolapse is being noted through the side port. And now the nucleus has divided into four fragments and now I am going to emulsify each fragment. FECO power used in this case is 80 percent. Flow rate is 40 ml per minute and vacuum is 420 millimeter of mercury. Now, these are the last two fragments. Um, emulsifying the fragments and removing it. This is the last small fragment. I'm keeping an eye on the posterior capsule and it is far behind. I am at the anterior capsular plane and here it is. This is the last bit of nucleus emulsified. 
whenever there is iris prolapse to the sideboard i don't remove the chopper because the iris plugs the wound and if i try to remove the chopper i can cause iris injury so i remove the fake hand piece first let the iop go down and then i remove the chopper so the nucleus has been nicely managed in this case now cortical cleanup is being done with the help of a uh, simco cannula this is a 23 goes simco cannula there is only one side port and by manual ia cannot be used when you have made only one side port posterior capsule is very clean and now is the time to implant an intraocular lens in this case we have selected a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens and the lens is going to be implanted keeping the anterior chamber formed under irrigation no viscoelastic substance is being used for implanting the intraocular lens in this case here it is the, uh, the irrigating probe keeps the anterior chamber formed then the lens goes into the anterior chamber and then into the capsular bag this portion of the surgery is edited the lens is placed in the bag the side ports are hydrated and a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention